kind of nasty. I don't remember. It was so it was long a ago. Saga. Yeah. It, it was a saga. He was beat Nairo. Um, that kind of like put him on the map, mm -hmm. even though a lot of people already knew just yeah. how good Schroeder was. And this man, he he wins every single local. <laughs> every single local in Arizona, Ooh, must dude. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah, he, he got so much. He got so much money. He's literally in the two GG chat, just gifting subs. Like, oh, that's true. Hundreds of dollars of subs, like <laughs> constantly every yeah. week, bro. I'm just we like, love bro, what are you out doing? here. <laughs> he really shows two GG the, uh, the support. But of course, you know, Esam, like a player who's really been put himself on the map. He's yeah. been around for quite some yeah. time. Always, constantly been a threat. Also hot off a win at uh, Battle of BC 3 in Canada. Able to take that tournament. I think that's his first uh, PG, like a Panda PGR win. A Panda. Uh -huh. So um, yeah, very few players yet to actually get a tournament win of that caliber under their belt in Ultimate, a really new game. So we haven't really had too many tournaments to begin with. Okay. No, and that's that's fake. So that's fake. I, it, may, no it may not be. I, I'm telling you, he wins all of his locals and he wins all of his locals with like with 10 timers? characters, oh, bro. Okay. He plays like every character. I mean, this I, this, it's, I, I, it's this could looking be real. I, if it is real, I'm going to suspect that it's going to be for one game only. He's going to use <laughs> it for data. Yeah. And we're going to see how yeah, Esam adapts it's to true. Ice Climbers because he was talking about... He played Doc against Esam at right, Nimbus, Right, right. But he... Was Schroeder was talking to Korean about this specific matchup yeah. between Greninja and okay. Pichu. So you know, I know he wants to use Greninja against Esam, and if he's in fact using Ice Climbers, it's going to be for one. I, I suspect one game for data, okay. or maybe just button checks. All right, quick disclaimer: this is the Nana alt, so Schroeder does have Nana under control right now. Just gotta point it out. Gotta point it out, man. Oh no, just get Sopo? it right, people. Uh, yeah, it would be it would be uh, Sona? Sona or Nopo. I like Nopo. Oh no, no Popo. <laughs> I like Sona. <laughs> Sona's cool too, man. <laughs> Whatever floods your boat. <laughs> well, if this uh, if this is real, yeah, I, this I, is, I, I hype, man. This is hardcore neutral, bro. <laughs> like, this is way above a level we can even understand right now. You That's see true. This? Even game, thirty to thirty-seven. Like, they're clearly the, trying super hard. I'm not surprised though if this is a button check. Obviously, I mean, it is a button they're, check. They're 30, 30 they're, seconds they're, expired. Yeah. Their uh, allotted button check time, but I mean it's the, it's the first game of the day for them, and it's to make it into top 32. So they want to make sure that you know they they can press the right buttons. Well, they did take an extended button check, but <laughs> here we go. Okay, it's just showing that it is in fact a button check. We'll, we'll allow it just because it's their first set of the day, man. Like, I mean, will we? I, mean, I guess we have. We to. don't have a choice. They already, they already did it. <laughs> All right. Well, now it's time to find out: is the uh, the ice climbers the real pick? Were we getting hyped over over nothing, man? Yeah, over, over nothing. nothing. But I, I mean, I, I'm just telling you that he was having such a long and in depth discussion with Korean. Of course, you know Korean being Void's coach, very top tier coach yeah. to speak to about matchups and what he should be doing in sets. Uh, and it was about Greninja versus Pikachu. Yeah, well, let's see. We're on the character select screen right now. Let's see what Strutter ends up picking. It is that's right. Get out of here, Sopo. I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised though. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, it's like you said. He may just throw out one of his other characters to for for data collection, right? Yeah. Well, okay. Nonetheless, Greninja versus Pikachu. Stroder versus Esam. Stroder wow. with the crowd behind him right I know, now. The crowd already popping off. The game just started. Yeah, Everyone's man. like already giving up for Stroder. No, no one even exchanged <laughs> hits yet. <dog. laughs> okay, but now we see the hits exchanging. And Esam, you know, landing a couple up tilts. I mean, we're I'm surprised that he's just going for these up tilts. He's not really trying to shark uh, Stroder's landing and then commit to like nair loops. But that may be something, uh, just a tactic that he's saving for a little bit later. Trying to get the drag down with nair, but he doesn't find it. Okay, great dash attacks here by the ledge, catching Esam off guard, parrying the quick attack. That's going to be a difference from uh, Pichu, who we saw earlier. The agility does not have a hitbox. Quick attack does, so he's able to actually utilize that a little bit. That's right. We see the down throw into forward air. Good conversion from Esam. I mean, cool. actually, when I think about it, being able to parry quick attack is so good because it does have that two hits, and usually people want to hit you on their way through to cross you up. But if you can parry that first hit, which is, I mean, if you do that, good on you, man. You're good. But you're get, able to get a punish off of it. Yeah, you can really just chase them down. And, and I mean, at that point, they're committed into a direction. But we see another dash attack connecting for Esam. And Esam just showing that, like, that 
Scope Bash or just like dash attack in general from Pikachu is so extremely strong. Yeah, for I'm real. not sure why uh, it's, it's a kill move, but it is. <laughs> Okay, Stroder trying to make this comeback up right now. Esam only at 80%. Okay, and there's a Nair, but Stroder able to escape. And it looked like Esam didn't even opt to go for a drag down Nair. But Ooh. we see Nair into forward air, and that, that com combination is still alive from Smash 4. Clean. All right. Oh, okay, completely avoiding that. Waiting out the second Thunder, sneaking in with the dash attack. Here's some more dash attacks into the up airs. Big damage and already making the comeback. Taking the lead even with that back air. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is just a small percent lead, but those small percent leads can add up. Another dash attack in forward oh. air, and that caught Esam's jump. And forced I, to use the quick attack. And I love the way Stroder's playing right now. He's weaving in and out. Whenever uh, he tricks Esam into kind of landing before him, he is able to get those dash attacks in. would lead to so many different follow-ups for Greninja. That's right. And we're seeing Forced to recover back to the ledge when up air does catch uh, Stroder jumping from the ledge. Another up air. Stroder having a lot of difficulty landing Yo. and now a back air, but Ooh. a good tech from Stroder. Excellent tech. Even in another Nair not going to connect. Yo! But frame trapping into the other down tilt and then getting the forward air. Stroder up a stock right here. Big yeah. damage. Man, right. just a neutral air into dash attack. That was 20%. Yeah, but a lot of characters in the game have like an insane damage output. Yeah, Pink Ninja, Pink no up. exception. And then back air connecting for Esam. Esam really needs to figure out how he wants to take the stock from from Stroder. Yo, the patience. He gets this grab, up throw into up air. Stroder looking really clean on this second on this last stock of Esam's. But the drag down forward air into dash attack. We see dash attack kill so often for Pikachu, and that wasn't enough to take Greninja. I can't believe the avoidance coming out from Shorter as well. And now we have a very a really hard time. We have a very angry uh, Greninja on the stage as we have full max rage uh, Greninja. Oh, okay. He got clipped by the final hits of the back air, but still able to use his recovery to get back. Yo, you know, yo trapped. And, uh, and you know what? I am not surprised. I am not surprised at all. 100% goes With straight up into the blast zone. I'm not sure if he was even ready to DI that. I'm not surprised at all that that Nair into up smash actually killed. Because, uh, nice. first of all, you had, like, Smashville, yes. which, you know, its blast zones are yes. already smaller. Smaller, yeah. and then, of course, we had Max Rage Greninja yes. already adding on to a little bit more of that launch. It was just a perfect combination that just led to Stroder taking game one. And Stroder just, you know, sticking through the whole thing, dropping the first stock in that game and ending it with a two stock. So let's see if Esam makes the adaptation necessary here. We're going to a little bit of a wider stage. It's going to be town and city. Uh, it's it's just so slippery. Like Greninja is actually a ninja. He is so tricky to hit a lot of the time. That's right. And as you can see, another dash attack connecting for Stroder. Esam having a lot of difficulty touching uh, Stroder. It's still, still still sitting at eight percent. I want to see. Uh, I would actually like to see Esam slow it down a bit. But that we both know that's not Esam style. No, not at all. Uh, what, it would behoove him to do so, though. I mean, I think he may be taking a lot of this damage due to just his aggressive nature. That's right. And, of course, Stroder playing the more defensive position. Another down tilt into up smash. And even though we have the high ceiling of town and city, that doesn't matter. That shows you the Granasty combo, bro. Super potent, super strong, able to secure those stocks. And Stroder only at 62%. He's oh. looking really good. Okay, and here we are. We have Esam slowing down the game, resorting to using to. Thunder Jolts uh, from the to. platform. Yo, calling down the Thunder, trying to interrupt, and it does interrupt, allowing Esam to put a little bit of damage, but now it's Stroder's turn. Okay, the wall of back airs coming out by the ledge here. <laughs> More back airs from both players. But Nair interrupting Stroder's uh, up air. Dash dancing, looking for another dash attack, but now we see an up throw. We're gonna call down the thunder. He does! Oh my god, and Stroder trying to air dodge into it. Unfortunately, air dodging right into the strong hit of that thunder. Gonna lose his life. And Esam even went, used his uh, second jump to go a little bit higher just to make the thunder uh, connect higher up. Yes. Really smart play by Esam as well. Okay, another forward air connecting. Only the last hit, but now we see Ooh. going for the dash attack into up smash. Doesn't work. Oh, just harass the shield, man. You can throw out a couple of those down tilts. Your opponent either gets shield poked or drops their shield. They're in a bad, bad spot. spot. Yeah, calling another thunder and actually throwing out the Nair, trying to interrupt Stroder and put him in a position where he can get grabbed. But we see back air does connect for Esam and Nair to get back to the Woo! stage. Ooh! 
Man, the chase in the top left side of the blast zone was real. Stroder connecting that forward air. Advancing this lead, he's already got 30%. Yeah, now Working Stroder. This, a second two stock even. Yeah, Stroder opting to go back to center stage. Pikachu doesn't take any damage when he's throwing out Thunder Jolts, unlike Pichu, but still just keeping the advantage position of center stage, forcing East Ham to approach, looking for him to push a button, make a mistake, and then punishing him. Ooh, but the drag down forward air and I, using the Shadow Sync to recover. Oh, a second one, beautiful. very smart. Yo, down tilt to forward smash, nearly connecting for the kill. Yo, oh. the back air caught the quick attack. Dude, the reads coming out from Stoder are insane. Yo, what is this character? This character is He's crazy. Nasty. I pick up I pick up Greninja after this tournament. <laughs> Yo, I just need to pick up Stoder. <laughs> okay, dash attack connecting for Esam. Now Esam looking for this kill. Oh, oh get the Thunder Jolt into up dude. smash. All right, and you can see uh, Stroder just waiting patiently, knowing he didn't have the guaranteed kill confirm. Just running underneath Esam, waiting for that opportunity to punish. Oh, Up the air. drag down, Yo. but the down smash. Esam able to directional air dodge away from that, escaping death. Scary, so scary for Esam right here. May be on the verge of getting two stock for a second time in this set. I mean, if we see two stocks, and we do! Two stock from Stroder. Two Four games, there, two stocks, both games. 2-0 lead for Stroder right here. I mean, we were talking about who the higher seed was, Z-Fly. Can you tell me again? Uh, I believe it's Esam. Esam. Esam <laughs> is the higher seed. But are you surprised to see how well Stroder is playing I, right I know Stroder is an amazing player, but amazing. you know what? You can't sleep on Esam. Absolutely not. You can't not. sleep he's, on him. He's, he's, so up, he's down 2-0 right now, but we don't know what Esam has th in store. This is where he makes the Poggers yes, plays, for sure. This is exactly. This is when he's going to be going off stage and like trying to gimp. Stroder at like 1%. Yeah, absolutely. And he has the ability to do that for sure. Though I will give credit to Stroder. He's been doing a really good job uh, with his recovery it's to avoid the Gimp attempts with so much damage already coming out from an angry Esam and not because he has rage, just because he's down 2-0 and he wants this win. Okay, good quick attacks at the ledge. He put 37% onto Stroder with just a few back airs. <laughs> Answering right back into quick fashion too. Thunder calling down, connecting onto Stroder. Oh, there's a drag down into down smash. Yeah, and that down smash will send in the direction that Pikachu is facing. So nearly into the blast zone for Stroder right here, ending, uh, spelling an early death for him. <laughs> We're going to see a back throw, up throw, and calling down the Thunder and going Ooh. up high to meet Stroder on the way down. Exact same situation all over again with Stroder trying to air dodge, but air dodging right into his death. And look at these conversions from Esam. Easily making one hit equal 40, 50%. Another back air, Stroder having a lot of difficulty just getting back to the stage at this point. Okay, but a wake up attack from the ledge will give Stroder uh, room to breathe. Oh. Nice. Get up attack, beating the four smash attempt from Esam. Esam still surmounting a lot of damage onto Stroder. 91% already. Uh, that's. Oh, God. Oh, going Hello? for the mix up for the. Oh, you, oh, oh is he oh, dead? He's dead. Oh, he's, he's dead. super dead. The Hydro Pump, man. Oh, and that, of course, the Hydro Pump, just like the Flood from Mario, yeah. does you know, like push your opponent back. Has the win boxes to be able to get those gimps, especially in uh, situations where your opponents are in free fall, such as that one. Oh, going Ooh. real deep, and that's what I'm saying. Pete. Avoidance, man. Esam not afraid yo, to drop yo, down this what? low. <laughs> and I think he footstooled him. I think that might have something, just... something. Well, that was definitely an early stock, and that's what Stroder needed to get himself back in this game. It was in completely in Esam's control until maybe 30 seconds ago. He does got to play out of his mind right here. He's got 143%. And the crowd is popping off. They want to see their boy Stroder okay. take it 3-0 over Esam. They were saying this during uh, Ben's set with uh, with uh, Sam Sora last night. They were saying, where's the meat? Oh, God, Stroder, no. Okay, well, opting to... Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, mistake from uh, from Stroder as well. Where's the recovery? That's what <laughs> I want to know. I mean, it didn't even look like it was getting challenged, but we see a couple, uh, three back airs and up air. Very good uh, low percent combos from Esam, calling down the thunder, but using the earthquake box on the down air and just smothering Stroder, oh, dropping no. him down. He's gonna be able to make it back. No. Oh, absolutely unfortunate for Stroder right there. But Esam just applying so much pressure, it it, it can get tricky when. He, he turned up the Jets, right? The difference between the first two games and this one, he, 
he turned it up. Like, he may have been playing at a level 8. He's definitely playing at a level 11 right now. Like, Oh, he definitely turned on the aggression, and that's what we were talking about earlier. Yes, Stroder was up 2-0, but at the same time, you cannot sleep on Esam. He yeah. is top player for a reason, and that's because he knows when he can really commit to going all in. Absolutely, Z-Fly, and we're going to go right back to Pokemon <laughs> Stadium 2. Stroder still going to be in the advantage here, up 2-1, and... He's going to be in the stage pick advantage for the re remainder of the set. That's, That's right. the important part. That's right. Uh, so it's always going to be Schroeder's counter pick. There well, we go. let's see what we have from Schroeder. I mean, we saw the aggression really come out and do work for Esam, but will Schroeder be able to answer back? What is the adaptation that he needs to make to, to make up for the aggression that Esam is putting out? You know, I think this is actually a good pick. You know, we have two Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium 2, of course, you know, thematic, pick, love man. it. But oh. at the same time, very wide, and it's going to give Stroder more room to dash around. Oh, God, dude. And Stroder's uh, just demonstrating his powers here by the ledge. It, not only is he able to get these potential gifts with the Hydro Pump, but the ledge trapping tools that Greninja has, really quick options, the down tilt, the uh, forward tilt, the dash attack, all, all of these just provides such good coverage for Greninja at the ledge. That's right. Forced to use the Hydro Pump to recover back center stage. Now we're going to see an up throw, calling down the Thunder, dragging Th Schroeder down, but sending him in the opposite direction that Isam wanted. Oh, the Shadow Sneak? He wasn't ready, dude. Again, getting caught off guard, not going to be able to DI properly, losing an early stock. This is so crucial for Isam right now. Yeah, getting the drag down, and we're going to see the it. down smash. Dancing all over Stroder, pointing in score back to two stocks, even 0%. All right, a quick forward air to dash attack. Putting a quick 20 onto Stroder. Okay, Nair cross up, and then e big damage. Yeah, good damage, 42% onto Esam. Getting another cross up Nair. All right, dash attacking, and now we're going to see uh, Esam was trying to shark onto that platform a little bit, but it looked like he just went a little bit too high. Starting to see the Thunder Jolts come out from Esam a little bit more, trying to slow down the pace. He's recognizing just how aggressive Greninja is and how how quickly he can get in and out of his zone. That's oh right, another cross-up Nair from Greninja. Out the These Nairs are attack, just giving bro. him so much work. Yeah, like Esam having a hard time. Like normally that quick attack is such a hard tool to punish. Oh my Ooh. god. Yeah, forced to use the second jump, Yo. and now Esam Again. going to oh cover really god. high with quick attack. <laughs> Set him up. And swing with a star KO to boot. Stroder only at 49%. Call it an even 50, will you? Wow, and Stroder looking really poised here to take game four. But of course, Esam being the explosive player that he is, who knows what he has oh. in store. We're going to see, oh, going for the reset with down tilt. Very yeah. smart from Esam. Yeah, he, he didn't have enough uh, distance. He did push him forward with the jabs to try to get him closer to the edge of the stage, but he wasn't close enough to where that forward smash would connect for the kill, so he got the down tilt to get him even further. That's Unfortunately, right. not able to uh, secure the stock. And now we see more Thunder Jolts coming out from Esam. He is uh, uh, in behind on stocks, but that's not going to stop Esam from uh, taking his time. Oh, looking for the... Just a low landing, but a Thunder Jolt into up smash. I didn't even know that confirmed. Yeah, and Esam going completely untouched, man. Okay, there's an F tilt. Oh, okay. scary. Yeah, really smart stuff from Esam, knowing that Shorter was going to go for another Hydro Pump setup, so just delaying his quick attack. Okay, another quick attack setup and gets the grab. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a down air. Looked like Shorter was in prime position, but another Thunder Jolt to cover the landing. Esam, bringing, slowly bringing himself back into this game. Okay, getting the trade. Okay, <laughs> Stroder still doing a really good job. He's not really getting thwarted by these Thunder Jolt attempts from Esam too much. Uh, Greninja has a really good jump. He's able to like quickly jump over them, and, and he's a fast faller too, so has no, no trouble maneuvering at all. And I like this. Stroder now opting to take his time using the Water Shuriken to combat the Thunder Jolt. Rolling right out of that earthquake box. Do not want to get opened up by that. He is sneaking around. He is conniving, man. He knows. All he needs is one confirm into the up smash. Potentially take this entire set off of Esam. But Esam, you know, in a very similar position. There's the up throw. Calling down the thunder. But nope. not in a good position to actually connect onto, onto Greninja. We have the, the chance coming out again. But a lot of jabs. is going to put a good amount of damage. 
F smash not gonna catch Stroder. Such a scary spot for both players right here. The dash attack gonna connect and we're getting a game number five. I wouldn't want it any other way. Z Fly, we, I want I want a down to the wire set right here, and well, that's what we're gonna get. It's definitely coming down to the wire, and you can see Esam revealing his hand a little bit, showing the Thunder Jolt setups. We saw Thunder Jolt into up smash, Thunder Jolt into dash attack. Two unique ways to utilize Thunder Jolt to take and, stocks. And a quick update just before we get into this game, uh, uh, next game on the other stream, the 2GG stream, it was actually T causing an upset over Mars. So definitely be sure to use multi-twitch.tv slash 2G Gaming slash BTS Smash. Do not miss out on the action. We got game number five, Stroder versus Esam. That's right, now we see both players look fishing for their, fishing for their opener. We see a back air connect, but Stroder able to bring up his shield before he takes too much damage. And now Stroder answering right back, but now Esam looking, just can, trading blows and Okay, using the Earthquake hitbox and getting the jab reset, but no. No up tilt to Thunder. Okay, another Thunder Jolt from Esam. Oh, he caught uh, Greninja's jump. Yeah, it's really even neutral right here. Both players just knowing what is exactly on the line right here. That's right, Greninja. Uh, Schroeder playing a, a little bit slower here in game five. And Esam, to, to, his, to his merit as well, he's making it. Harder, he ha he's slowing down this phase by using a lot more quick attacks, uh, being very evasive with it, and the Thunder Jolt's just peppering Stroder. I like the way that Esam's using Thunder Jolt to cover his quick attack approaches. Even if uh, Stroder does, uh, in fact, parry one of one or two of the quick attacks, he's gonna have a Thunder Jolt to make sure that he's not able to actually punish the quick attacks. Right. Okay, and we see, oh, the approach from Esam. Again, using Thunder Jolt to cover. We're gonna see a back throw, Stroder finding himself off stage. And now what's it, oh, try to go for Jolt. The Thunder Jolt to dash attack, but F Smash connects for Esam. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna get punished really hard. But drag down up air, not able to follow up. And now, more damage coming out from Esam. Okay, what is Stroder? Finding himself in a tough position, but down tilt into off smash connects. And Stroder bringing the stocks even. Yeah, making that tough position work out for him, man. Taking barely any percent right here. Working on the comeback. Only 10% more to go. Nair, dash attack, double back air potentially. Oh, only wait. finding one. East Ham tried to throw out a quick down air to yo, beat out the, the recovery. But double Nair, and we see the Stroder chance coming out from the crowd. Oh, he's live right now. Oh, yeah, he's definitely living, as you can put. Already a good amount of damage on Esam. He's fishing for that up smash conversion. There it is! Another down tilt up smash that is so nasty. Only 38%. But if the last game is anything like this one, it was the... Stroder only had 40%, right? But Esam went completely untouched and brought it back to even. I mean, he, that's when Esam was starting to use those Thunder Jolt setups, especially like to cover his approaches. But now that card has been revealed. Stroder knows about that setup. And as you can see, he's just fishing for landings. Just trying to stay underneath Pikachu, short hopping over the Thunder Jolt and then connecting forward airs. And it's looking pretty grim for Esam. I mean, we can't count him out. 60%, not too bad, but Esam, or Stroder still at a really healthy stock. Tries to go for the down smash two frame. Oh, but the down air does connect for Esam. Now Esam, you know, trying to just look for his way in, trying to break through the barrage of, a, of attacks that is Stroder. Directional air dodging to the platform, which Esam not able to really shark. Down tilt, in the up smash! What a read, getting the tech chase roll on the platform for the up smash. <laughs> Esam is just holding his hand out there. He's like waiting. I mean, you gotta get, oh, you got you gotta let him pop off. Let him pop off. Oh yeah, he he definitely had to. He definitely deserves it. And he came back and respectfully gave him the handshake. Esam taking that loss in stride as he always does. Yeah. Such a such a, a humble man, man. He's just yeah. Very.